Hi there, this is Jen and thanks for joining me today. Um, I'm sitting here eating my blueberry and whip topping breakfast while I do the voiceover for this video. And um, I just started Weight Watchers and this is only seven points. Two blueberry waffles, two tablespoons of light whip topping. It's delicious. Just <laughs> if you're on Weight Watchers, it's, it's delicious. It's only seven points. Um, so for the video today, I am using some shimmer shakers from Craft, not at Craft Emotions, Crave Expressions. And um, I'm using a stamp from Craft Emotions called Background Tree Trunks, which I picked up at the uh, Scrapbook Expo that they had in Mesa, Arizona a few weeks ago. Um, the shimmer shaker colors I'm using are Vintage Gold, Lush Pink, and Tangy Tangerine. And I'm just putting those on my craft mat dry. And then I'm gonna take my background stamp dry also and just smush that into the um, powder. Um, so I kind of tap it or pounce it, uh, no, not pounce it, Jen, kind of push it. I push it down on the uh, powder and then I try and drag it a little bit. Um, it gives a little bit of a different effect. Um, I saw this technique, Julia Watts did it on the Creative Expressions website and I thought it was super cool. So I went ahead and tried to experiment a little bit with that in this video. It doesn't stain the stamp. Um, the stamp cleaned up perfectly well. I use two stamps in this video, this Craft Emotion stamp and a rubber necker stamp, which is a red rubber stamp. Um, this one right here, it's a good stamp. It, the, it's not as raised as the red rubber stamp that I use later. So some of the impressions are not as defined, but it gives it its own unique look and I think it turns out really cool. Um, it kind of reminds me of doing things on the um, jelly plate. You're kind of making um, several different impressions with just one stamp. Um, I make several impressions before I add more powder. So um, that's kind of cool. The paper I'm using on this is a watercolor paper, but a Bristol Smooth, which is what I usually use for um, light water use, um, would work fine as well. And because there's lots of mica in these powders, they go down really well on black or dark colored cardstock as well as white colored cardstock. Um, I think it gives it a really cool kind of galaxy background with not hardly any effort at all. So while you can't see the impression of the stamp that great, um, it creates this really cool random background. Um, and then I tried to experiment a little bit and so I just put the powders down on the cardstock itself instead of on the um, my craft mat. And these shimmer shakers are new to me. I love shaker powders and sprays. Um, it's just one of the products that I just can't resist buying it seems like because I told myself I have some the Lindy's um, powders and sprays and I told myself that I definitely didn't need any more sprays. They're all the same, right? And when these came out along with the pixie powders from Creative Expressions, I just, I know there's something about them. That's just like my weakness <laughs> in craft supplies is the powders and the sprays. I just, I think they're just so adaptable. You can do so much with them. Um, so I think that turned out really, really pretty. Um, I use some of the backgrounds and cards, but I don't think I use those two. Um, so this one you can see the, the colors blended really beautifully. Um, I just, I can't say enough about <laughs> this. So I'm going to go ahead and make some more impressions using the stamp to try and just get off all that um, material. And I'm going to water it down a little bit and see if I can get another impression. And I add some more powder. So I really got a good amount of um, backgrounds out of just a little bit of powder. And these bottles are little plastic bottles and they have a screw off top 
And then on the inside, they have a little flip up plastic piece so that it keeps the material inside the container. And it's kind of like a salt and pepper shaker is how they come out. There's like three little dots in the container and it's three little dots, Jen, not dots, three little um, holes, kind of like a salt and pepper shaker. And um, so that's how the material comes out. I know that it's kind of different for all of the kind of shaker powders out there. Nuvo is a little bit different. Um, and I was thinking about maybe doing a comparison video across all of the... Um, items and then here I'm just making a few more impressions and this is the one that I end up making a card with um, that gold it just turns out so beautifully I think so here are the panels that I created using that stamp So you really get a lot of bang for your buck with just a little bit of material or supply um, using this technique. It's absolutely, I love it. <laughs> I just think it's really pretty. I especially love these colors together, the pink and the tangerine and the gold, They're just really pretty. So the next stamp I'm gonna use is this rubber knucker stamp. It is a cobblestone stamp and this is another one that I picked up at the uh, scrapbook expo and this is going to get a little bit of a better impression because the stamp is a lot more raised than the previous stamp and the colors that I'm going to be using for this are ice blue teal ocean sparkle snow and I'm going to do the same I'm going to go ahead and just sprinkle that onto my craft mat and then wet down my stamp and press that into the what the uh, dry powder okay yeah so you can really see the stamp really well because it's a red rubber stamp compared to the um, clear stamp and then i got on my stamping platform um, i don't know if i was having trouble handling the stamp but as you can see, it's much more defined um, using the red rubber stamp. So if you have a stamp that's a little more defined or raised, you're going to get a better impression than kind of the flatter stamp that I just used in the previous examples. And this is again on a piece of watercolor cardstock. And then I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on a piece of black. And then wet it down a little bit. I actually get a little bit, uh, I get more impressions out of using this stamp than I did on the previous one. So then I added a little bit of the color deep purple and I'm going to stamp that on this white piece of paper and I do make a card using this background which you'll see at the end of the video. Um, hopefully when I show the examples dry you can see how much um, shimmer there is when it catches the light it's just really beautiful so here are the examples or the backgrounds um, cut down a little bit most of them where you can really see that color as it catches the light especially that gold is so beautiful so you can see a little bit of an impression of the tree trunks in this just far <laughs> few and far in between Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And so easy and quick. Um, this doesn't take any time at all to do. Just picking out your colors and, you know, 
throwing them down. So here are the cards that I created with the background. So this first one is a Tim Holtz stamp. Um, and the sentiment is I put a spell on you. And I used some Ranger embossing powder for the frame and I used some silver thread for the kind of the cobweb look on the outside. And then this I just added a few sequins, <clears throat> heat embossed happy birthday and a strip of washi tape. And I splattered a little bit of extra paint onto that card base. <clears throat> and then this background I used as a Halloween and put some cute little monsters on there and colored them with my, uh, my uh, Windsor Newton alcohol markers. And then this card, I was gonna use the background and I cut it all up and now I can't use it. So this was the background right here. <laughs> um, so that was the blue background. So here are the panels that I didn't use and um, I'll just put those in my stash so that I could just quickly pull out, you know, if I need a card made, I could just quickly pull out one of the panels and add a sentiment or other elements to it and the card is done, especially these two. I think they're beautiful. I might actually make some Christmas cards out of these white ones. Um, and that is it for me. I did a previous video on my swatch book and I kind of talked about creative expressions. They have some really, really awesome products at really great prices. And scrapbook.com currently has a sale going on for World Card Making Week and so, or day. And so I encourage you to check that out. Um, I hope you liked this video. If you did or found it informative, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Um, as always, thank you so much for watching and I will catch you next time.